What's going on guys and welcome to a video you guys have been requesting for quite some time and that's just pretty much the story between me and Vince Wilfork. Now I figured there wasn't a better time to do it simply because on Sunday they came out with an NFL Movers Vince Wilfork that was in packs for just 24 hours. So in the background you guys are going to see the packs I opened up on Sunday to try and get that card and we're going to go ahead we're going to jump right into the story. So it all started when he first came in the league. I knew who he was. You guys know me. I'm a huge Patriots fan. But I also was a bit of a Hurricanes fan. I mean, I was a little kid and they had such awesome teams and I really enjoyed watching them. So I was super stoked when the Patriots drafted him. And then every Thursday night before I went to bed, he used to come on New England Sports Network and he used to talk and he came out with his website. He still does have a website and he also has the Vince Wilfork Foundation to spread awareness about diabetes. You guys can always check that out. I'll put the link in the description. But anyways, he had a thing through his website. You could leave a contact or you could actually email him. And I decided to go ahead and email him one night, and I actually asked him for advice. I was kind of having a problem with the situation. I just figured, I wonder what he would say. I didn't even expect him to reply, but when I woke up for school the next morning, I actually got an email back from him. Now, the thing is, he actually sent me a pretty thorough email. I mean, this thing was like a couple paragraphs long, and the feeling I had leaving for school that day, definitely something I'll never forget. But the thing is, it didn't just end there. We ended up keeping in touch and in the upcoming season, him and his wife got me tickets to the San Diego Chargers at New England Patriots game. So I flew out from Wisconsin, which is where I live. I know a lot of you guys are asking me that question. I stayed with some family I had in the Boston area, and I got to go to my very first game. Now, before the game, I got to meet his wife. And let me tell you guys, she's one of the most amazing people I've ever met. Definitely super caring, super positive, and just really passionate about not only what he does on the field, but what they do off of it. And then after the game, I went with her into the player's parking lot. And I get to meet Vince for the very first time. And let me tell you guys something I'll definitely never forget the rest of my life. But the thing is, we kept in touch. And a few years later, the NFL schedule came out. And the New England Patriots were playing at Green Bay. Now, that doesn't happen a lot. But they made sure. They got me tickets to go to the game. I went to the game. New England ended up dominating Green Bay that day. And then I did get to meet Vince afterwards for the second time. And that's pretty much the story. Because a lot of you guys were asking me last season how I get to go to the game, how I get tickets from Vince, and how I get to meet him and his wife before and after the game. And that's pretty much the story. We've kept in touch since his rookie year. And when New England came to Green Bay this past year, his wife made sure she got me tickets. I met her before the game. And then afterwards, in like the little player parking lot before they load in the buses, I get to go right in there past security and not only meet with her again, but meet with Vince for the third time. Once again, just as amazing as the first time. And that's pretty much the story I have for you guys. I know a lot of you guys were asking me. I'll definitely have to show you some pictures I got with him after the game and with her before the game. Definitely, once again, something I'll never forget the rest of my life. They've had such a positive impact on my life. Like, I remember being in tough situations and just remembering what advice Vince would give me in the situation. So you guys seen the pack opening. We didn't end up getting them, but I didn't want to end the video just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys a clip I recorded with my iPad. Now, I did have audio at the time when I was recording it, but it sounded pretty bad. It kind of looks pretty bad, so I apologize for that. So I decided to go ahead and just talk over it while I go through it. This is kind of my setup. I'm not showing you guys this to, like, brag or show off or anything. I really enjoy a lot of YouTubers that show off kind of their setup, and they vlog about a lot of stuff. I guess T. Martin comes to mind. So there's my laptop. It's a MacBook. I use that to edit. Up above, we got my speaker. We got my monitor. You guys can see Patriots controller, mouse pad. A cover for my phone down below I even have a Patriots skin it on my Xbox but to the right of my setup this is the jersey he signed this past season and in the bottom left you guys can see a picture it's actually a picture I took when he was walking out of the tunnel the first time he played at Green Bay and he actually heard us yelling his name looked over gave us that wave and the picture just ended up turning out perfect and then once again like I said I'm not done setting up this room so all these pictures I got to go ahead. I got to get them in frames and put them up on the wall. I want to say I even have a Christmas card from him somewhere in there as well. Now, to the left, we have a Patriots Super Bowl champion banner. I got to bring this back to the mall because they said they would stitch on 2014 for me for free. So I definitely got to go ahead and do that. Got some Red Sox stuff. And then to the left, we have the very first signed Vince jersey I ever got. In the bottom, we got a bunch of signed cards, jersey cards that I got off of eBay. And then just above that, we have some game-worn gloves he gave me. And once again, those are signed as well. So I got a ton of stuff. You guys can see below that, I have a Patriots kind of like Christmas train. I put it up for Christmas, and I just, I still haven't taken it down. But you know what? It's up early for this upcoming Christmas. Below that, once again, some more signed footballs over here. 
we get a Patriots chair and a random Paul Pierce autograph basketball. And then over on this wall, I just put this up, but we got kind of like a, a wall mount with some mini autographed helmets that he gave me. And once again, another rookie card, Pro Bowl card above that. And then over to the left, you guys can see I have plenty of room. Like I was saying, I'm still putting up a bunch of stuff. You guys can see an autographed Paul Pierce Team USA jersey. My mom actually met him in Indiana when he was playing at the World Champions. So my mom put that up over there. But yeah, this is pretty much my setup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we are going to end this video by purchasing the 98 overall 24-hour Vince Wilfork card for 444,000 coins. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for so much support. We did just reach 35,000 subscribers not that long ago. And until next time, guys, I'm TD Presents. And one more thing, I know you guys are going to ask me who I'm going to be rooting for this upcoming season, the Patriots or the Texans. All I got to say is, if Vince comes up with a game-winning force fumble or somehow comes away with an interception to clinch the win for the Texans, I definitely won't be upset. So once again, guys, thank you for so much support. And until next time, I'm Tina Presents. Peace out.